easily replace someone else's face with your face on just about any photo using AI. Follow along and learn on this easy video tutorial. Now for this, you don't need amazing Photoshop skills or be a genius graphic designer to do this. I'll take you through the simple process to do it yourself. I mentioned how to do the first part of this in the last videos, so I don't want to spend a lot of time here explaining this again, so I'll make this really brief. Basically, you need to train the AI what you or your subject looks like. You can do this easily at astria.ai. It costs $1.50, and you want to feed it 10 to 30 photos of your subject. Make sure and follow their recommendations if you want this to really work out great. Next, download the CKPT file, which is right here. This is all the information about your face. Now head on over to Diffusion B. It's a free download for Mac computers. If you're on a PC, I'd recommend using Automatic 111. Okay. So here's how to do it. In Diffusion B, you want to use the Image to Image tab, and you want to feed it the image of your face that you want to replace. We'll work on using this Avengers poster, and I've actually never seen the movie, but it has a lot of unique faces that we can replace to show you just how powerful this thing is. All right, in order to get the best results, I'd suggest zooming in on the face that you want to replace. I'm using Photoshop here, but you could use whatever photo editing program you want. Make sure you have the square as a one-to-one -one ratio. To make it really easy, I make a square around the portion of the photo I want to change. I copy it, Command C, and paste, Command V, into a new layer. This will help line up everything easily in the next step. Next, I create a new image in Photoshop using the exact size of what I just copied. And now I paste the image into this new document and save this as a PNG file. Next, I drop the newly created image into Diffusion B and then specify the area of the image I want to replace, which is of course the face. This is the most tedious part because Diffusion B only has one size for the brush. And if you're listening to Fusion B, please make it so that we could change the size of the brush. That would really save time. Okay, once that's done, we need to specify in the prompt what we are replacing. For this one, I put SKS man looking up, full face details, hyper realistic facial features, ultra detailed. What is SKS man you ask? Good question. Well, that's the AI-trained model that you just downloaded from astria.ai. We need to specify that we're using this face. So to do that in Diffusion B, just head over here to Settings and click Add New Model. Here we can specify the file we just downloaded. Okay, so that's added in there. Let's go back to Image to Image. And now let's make sure the options are correct. For image strength, I like to do 30. I find that does really well. The number of images, you could create anything from one to 100. I usually do about 15 and let it run in that. Usually could find a good one within that time. And then the steps, I put 70. And for the guidance scale, I put about 15. Now make sure down here, your custom model, but make sure you choose the one that you just added. In my case, it's Aaron. All right, and then the negative prompt. Uh, I like to enable this and I put things in there like I don't want a hat or low resolution or different things like that. So you could specify that. All right, so remember you can create as many of these as you want. It will probably take quite a few to get a really good one, but this doesn't cost you any money. So you could create as many of these images as you want. Okay, so here's a good one for Captain America. We could now save this image and drop it into the Photoshop document. Now I'll copy the image here, Command C, and this gives the exact size that we want. And now head over to the image you want changed and paste it in, Command V. Move the layer until it fits and there you go. There's no extra skill required to do this. No great Photoshop magic. It's just all done through AI. By the way, what about some of these that have beards? Well, 
let me show you how to do that. You could create the face and leave out the beard. Or you could specify to have a beard in your prompts. If you've created an image that doesn't have a beard, you could drop that one in. For instance, here is Thor. And then I'm painting in the area that I'm going to specify to include a beard. And so first I tried a goatee that didn't look too well. I noticed, oh, he actually has a beard. So I painted the area where I thought it should have a beard. And it creates some pretty hilarious beards. But if you just keep going, keep tweaking, I added the word rugged in here just to try to get more of what I want. And eventually it came up with something pretty good. Also, if you have an image that perhaps looks a little low resolution, just specify low resolution in your prompts and that will help it to fit in a little bit better. You don't want it to have a really high amount of detail and then it, the rest of the photo is low resolution. And there you have it. You can put your face in just about any image. Now I used this movie poster to show you the power of it, but we'll use it for our annual youth conference. For instance, if we were to have a theme with knights, well, I could find this image here, a stock image that we've paid for, and I could replace this guy's face with our own face, and we could use that. So I hope this will be a help to you. If you've enjoyed this, would you mind liking it and sharing it? And let me know in the comments if you've used this or if it looks interesting to you. I always love to see what you create. If you'd like to learn more about using AI for your church ministry, I would encourage you to follow me on social media and like and subscribe on YouTube.